we travel back to Season 7 of Naperville Sports Weekly for the latest vintage moment. Entering the 2014 Girls Bowling State Meet, Wabonzi Valley was widely regarded as the favorites to repeat as state champions. Under head coach Marty Miller, the Warriors won their first state title in 2013, and key returning seniors like Rachel Felton, Sarah Barsati, and Talissa Melgoza all returned that winter. However, senior Julia Bond was the marquee attraction for the green and gold. She had finished in fourth place at the 2013 state meet, the best finish ever for any of our local bowlers. The Warriors cruised to conference, regional, and sectional team championships that year, while Bond won the individual medals. At the Cherry Bowl in Rockford, Wabonzi Valley got off to a strong start thanks to their four seniors, as well as major contributions from sophomores Violet Kirk and Veronica Dreyfus. Wabonzi stood in first place after the opening day ahead of Leiden, Harlem, and O'Fallon. In the first game of the second day of state, Julia Bond put on a show, rolling a 299 to set the tone for her team. There was little let up from that point on as Wabonzi held a wire-to-wire -wire stranglehold on first place. The Warriors finished with a 12-round score of 12,416 to win the state championship for a second consecutive season by over 200 pins. Julia Bond won the individual championship in spectacular fashion. Her tournament score of 2,817 is still the second best in the history of IHSA State Girls Bowling. It's little surprise that the former Warrior went on to become a collegiate national champion and a four-time All-American at the University of Nebraska where she now works as an assistant coach. We've seen many great performances at the state bowling meet, but the dominance from both the team and the individual level turned the 2014 Wabonzi Valley girls bowling team into local legends.